Hey everybody, Arnaldo Wolf from here with CompuShow Video Manuals. I had a CompuShow slash my DMX user ask me if CompuShow has a next and previous scene button similar to how my DMX works. The answer is yes. Kind of, sort of, so I'm going to show you exactly how that works. Now, to really take advantage of this, you have to use either MIDI or Easy Control or just even have a console open. And it doesn't mean that you have to have a MIDI controller hooked up to it because you can easily just push the buttons here. But either way, you got to make yourself some buttons. Uh, like you see here, I made one just so I can actually control different faders and stuff with my keyboard and mouse versus going around here. But that being said, we're going to go back to the MIDICon Pro because if you have the MIDICon Pro, this is a great way to show you a little bit what you can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on minus. And we have our control set up here. We're going to click on the star. We're going to choose button. And I want to do select previous button. Click OK. Done. Now we're going to go to the plus. We're going to go to button. And we're going to go to select the next button. OK. Close. And OK, good. I just want to make sure. I'm going to go ahead and go to enter. And now we're going to go to our button. And we are going to go into our button activation. All right, we're good to go there. All right, and if you want it, just for craps and giggles, okay, I'm just going to go over here next to this button, and we're going to go to button, and we're going to pause the button and click OK. And I'm also going to have, just so you can kind of see here, I'm just going to have the DMX level so you can see how it controls and all that or it might be even easier to do our fixtures page so yeah let's do that why not all right there we go easy okay so now I'm on my slow tab the scenes that I want to be able to scroll back and forth you can see that if I go minus, it selects the previous and then next, and then I can hit enter, and there it is. Now I'm going to go into my third tab, which allows me to do my selections or my speed dimmer and all that, and you'll see that I can control the speed ahead of time. Now, this is really cool because if I'm going to go into, let's say, my previous scene, and I know that I don't want it to be that fast, I can just go ahead and reset my MIDI con, and I'm going to reset my phasing, size, and everything there. Then I hit enter and we are good to go easy now the pause button if I just hit right here there it is right there it is paused and well pretty much now there's other stuff here moving but that's for another scene that's running in the background when I unpause BAM there it is this is really fun because especially if you're busking a show live you can create some real cool dramatic scenes that may go with the music especially with EDM or rap or whatever the case may be but anyhow I hope that helps again we have our minus and plus whatever buttons you decide to choose and activate so thank you guys so much for watching any comments questions or anything like that please leave them in the little section down below thank you so much good night and God bless